Welcome back to my lesson two on geometry, construction, and where this time we are covering circumscribing a circle. In this lesson, we are going to draw a circle that touches the vertices of a triangle. Now, before we just go to construct, I want you to note the following. It's very important. To construct a circle that touches the vertices or points of a triangle, you are supposed to bisect any two lines of the triangle. And the keywords, vertices, if it is touching the vertices, it's, the vertices are also called the points. So you can be told to draw a circle that touches vertices or points. So to do so, we are supposed to bisect any two lines. So grab your set and just get ready because we are going to construct together step by step. Now, to we are going to practice first how to bisect a line before we draw the triangle. So to bisect a line, you just draw a line, draw a line of your choice, of any length, like that one I've drawn there. And then take your compass and then stand at one end of the line. Like for example, I stand at this end of the line. After standing at this end of the line, I draw the line again. There. Then I stand at the end of the line there with my compass. Then I make sure that uh, this compass stretches more than half of this line. Half of the line is like up to somewhere here. Just without measuring just by judging the eyes, that's a half of the line. So stretch your compass to be more than half. Let it not go to the end, but just be more than half of the line. Ensure that you have stretched it to be more than half, lock your compass, then you take it up to make an arc up here. You make a big arc up here with that radius. With the same radius, without disturbing the size of the compass, take your compass down here, make another big arc down here like that then with the same radius again come to the other end of the line don't disturb the size of the compass let it remain to be the same then you cut an arc that will intersect with the arc at the bottom there like that move up cut another arc that will intersect with the upper arc like that then after you finish that, take your ruler, join this point of intersection with this point of intersection. This point of intersection, like this. Yeah, like that. Make sure that you are standing exactly where the lines meet. For accuracy, take your pencil, join the line like that. Now, to know that I've constructed a right bisector, it's called a perpendicular bisector of a line. And it is called so because the word perpendicular means the bisector cuts it at 90 degrees. Perpendicular means cutting at 90 degrees. And then bisector means dividing into two equal halves. So if I take my protractor here and try to measure this angle, it should give me 90 degrees. So let's try. whether it's well bisected it's exactly 90 wow that is well bisected so the line has been divided into two equal halves and at the same time it's cutting at 90 degrees so i can call it a perpendicular bisector i want to repeat the same using another straight line but this time the line is diagonal it's not horizontal it's diagonal like that you want to bisect that line so i will repeat the same steps that is, grab my compass, bring the compass to one end of the line, like this one here. Then I ensure that the compass can touch, I stretch it to be more than half of the line. Half is like somewhere here. So I've stretched it more than half. Then I lock my compass so that it doesn't expand anymore. Then I move to this side of the, of the line. I make a big arc. Big arc like that one, big arc like that one. 
I move to the other side of the of the line while still standing at the same place like here. Then I make another arc down there like that. Then with the same radius without disturbing the size of the compass, I move to the other end of the line there. Then I draw another arc which will intersect with the arc at this side. And then I move, I make another arc, I move to this side, I make another arc that will also intersect with this arc here. Wow, that's good. Then I remove my compass, then I take my ruler, I try to join these two points of intersection. Yes, there. There we are. I'm using an online ruler, so give me time to draw it. Good. There we are. Then I draw a line that joins the point of intersection like that. Then I remove my Rule I check, the line has been divided into two equal halves, even without measuring, you can see this and this are two equal halves, which has cut through 90 degrees, so we can call this one a perpendicular bisector. So those two practices have given us uh, now a clue of what is to bisect a line. So now we want to draw a triangle, so that we can... We can now draw a circle that touches the vertices. So you draw a triangle at the center of your book. There's a triangle like that one there. Just a size of your choice, like that one there. Then remember we had said we bisect any two lines. So I choose to bisect the bottom line, this one. For example, I start with this line here. So I take my compass. I stand at the end of this line I want to bisect, bring the compass and ensure that I have stretched it to be more than half of the line, but not to the end of the line. Half is like somewhere here, so I stretch it to be more than half up to there. Lock your compass so that it doesn't expand anymore. Then you make a knack above the line when you are still standing there. And then you move down, make a knack down here knock down here using the same radius then using the same radius again go to the other end of the line then you make arcs which will intersect with the first arc down there like that move up make a knock which will intersect with the other arc remember the radius is the same don't change the radius then take your ruler join Join the points of intersection. This is where accuracy is needed. Make sure that you join properly. Like that. Then you draw a line to join that. There we are. So I've bisected the bottom line. As you can see, this is a bisector of the bottom line. I've bisected this line. It cuts into two equal halves. It is cutting at 90 degrees. Then I bisect this other line on this side here. You can bisect this one or this one. I choose to bisect this one. So I take my compass again. I take my compass. I bring it to the end of this line. This line is the one I want to bisect. Then I ensure that... Uh, the compass stretches more than half of the line, more than half of the line, just like that, like that one there. That's a half of the line. Then um, I lock the compass and then I make an arc, a big arc on this side of the line, like that, make a big arc. Before I remove, I make another arc on the other side of the line. I remember I'm making well, a knock on one side and the other side. So I make a knock on the other side. So I make a knock of this side and the other side with a radius which is more than half. I remove the compass, I go to the other end of the line. Then 
I make using the same radius again, don't change the size of the compass. I make an arc which will intersect with that other arc I've made. Make sure that you don't confuse the arcs that you are making. Then I come to the other side with the same radius. I make an arc that will intersect with the other arc that I had made. And I remove my compass. I take my ruler. I join the points of intersection. I join the points of intersection. Like that. Then I take my pencil, I draw a line, a long line, like that. Then I check what I've done. I remove the ruler, I remove the compass. I can see this is the bisector of this line. It cuts at two equal halves and it bisects at 90. It cuts at 90, it's a perpendicular bisector. So the first bisector and the second bisector meet here. This is the center of the circle I will draw. So I want to draw a circle that is touching the vertices, the points. So the circle will pass through this point, this point, and this point, and it will be standing here at the center where the two bisectors have met. So I take my compass, I stand where the two bisectors meet, and then I reduce the size of the compass, I unlock my compass, I reduce the size of the compass until it touches one vertex. I try the other vertex, I lock the compass. I try whether it can touch the other vertex. Yes, it does. Whether it can touch the other vertex. Yes, it does. Then I comfortably draw the circle. Wow. And there goes the circle, which touches the vertices of that circle. So it's as simple as that. That is a circle that is touching the vertices of the triangle. So it's what we call circumscribing a, a circle. That is a circle which is touching the vertices of the triangle. Remember I've said the vertices are also called points. Lesson three, I'm going to repeat the same exercise, but this time with a triangle which is having a different shape. So thank you so much for watching my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe.